Hey guys, welcome to Sushi John's. Today I'm going to show you how to make spicy mayo. Spicy mayo is a great condiment. Um, you'll get it at most sushi restaurants. Uh, usually it's with like some sort of cut roll. Um, you can either put it on top, you can, uh, I'll, I'll usually put it in a squeeze bottle, <clears throat> put it down on my plate, put the sushi rolls on top of it, uh, make it real nice looking. Um, also, one of the best uh, uses for it is to make a spicy tuna cut roll, which I'll probably do in another video. I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere that you can click on for that. Um, so it's real simple. You need two ingredients. You need a good quality mayo and some sriracha. I also like to throw in a little toasted sesame oil. Just love the flavor of that. Um, but if you don't have it, you don't need it. These are the two ingredients you need. Uh, there's a lot of different recipes out there. This is a real common, easy way to make it. Um, sometimes people use mayo, sriracha, and like a chili paste, like a um, Korean uh, a sambal or a kochujang. Um To me, it makes the tuna a little too spicy if you're making a tuna cut roll. Uh, so I just like to stick to sriracha and mayo. Um, I like to taste the tuna as well, um, plus the sesame oil. Great flavor in that. So uh, real simple, we'll take the mayo. Uh, the ratio we're gonna use is couldn't be easier. One heaping tablespoon of mayo for every little teaspoon of sriracha. So I'll do one, like I said, heaping tablespoon of mayo. And you know what, I'm gonna make enough for some friends, so, and I'm gonna do a tuna cut roll and I wanna put some of this in a squeeze bottle, so I'll make two, Two nice uh, tablespoons of that. Next, I'm going to add some sriracha. I'll do uh, two teaspoons of the sriracha. One, two. And last, I'm going to add a little toasted sesame oil. Um, you don't want to go too heavy on the sesame oil. Um, that'll overpower all the other flavors. It's really uh, potent. So I'm just going to add for two tablespoons of mayo, two teaspoons of that, I'm going to add maybe a half a teaspoon, if that, of uh, toasted sesame oil. It might be a little much. There you go. Next you're going to use a fork and you're just going to uh, stir it up real, real well. Um, Basically, you're looking for a mayo-like consistency. You want to get all the clumps out of there. You know, you want to get all the sriracha really well integrated with the mayo. You don't want to like be eating it and get a huge pocket of sriracha. So I'm just going to keep stirring until it's uh, all the lumps are pretty much gone. And you can see already that color. That's exactly the color we're going for on a spicy mayo. Mm. I can already smell it. Um, I can smell the toasted sesame oil and the sriracha. It's really good. And there, the lumps are basically gone. Um, it's nice and mayo-like. Um, it's going to be real easy to spread on anything. And uh, you can really see the heat on there. You can see the little uh, red flakes in there of the spice. It smells awesome. Um, I'm probably going to go make a spicy tuna roll, so click on the link wherever it is, and uh, please subscribe to my videos if you like them, and uh, please enjoy. So um, what I'm probably going to do is also put this in a squeeze bottle, just like this one I made earlier. Just spoon it in there, and this is great for presentation. You can spread it around. Um, just makes it really simple to use this stuff, so squeeze bottles, great.